taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lights here, but back with another Pulse Drip video. Let's do an update on Pulse Drip. Guys, the price is $14.50. Still up a fair amount, a 6 or 7x from its lows. Okay, guys, um, of $2.50. Uh, well, that's not even the lows. That's basically where it started, okay? You can't really class that as the lows. But from its initial price point of about $2.50, we're still at $14.50, okay? It did go to about $50, so it has come down. Um, that to me just says it's a better price than what it was yesterday. Uh, what I'm looking for is the price to stabilize. And once the price stabilizes, I believe that we're going to see a huge accumulation on this token. Nobody wants to catch a falling knife. So they're going to wait. So they're going to wait till the price stabilizes, starts going sideways. That's when people will begin to ape a little bit more aggressively into p drip it was only the initial run up i believe this has another run in it yet okay guys so great time to stack and uh create a force it actually costs you 10 tokens to to create a force it okay guys uh, so 10 uh, 10 tokens right now about 140 dollars plus uh you can get into this uh just a week ago this would it would have cost you 500 plus dollars just to open a force it Okay, guys, so pretty good time to open a four so you can compound, do whatever you need to do to build up your stack. All right, guys, build up your compound interest, accumulate this token. But right now, I'm still earning around about $170 a day, so pretty decent for a passive income. Okay, guys, even if you were earning that a week, that would be a good passive income. I'm earning that a day, okay? And yes, that has come down from what I was earning, but ultimately uh that's a very good money by any standard uh even in crypto okay guys we've got a few updates on this project or at least one update should i say um, on this project there was an ama uh, that was held uh yesterday or the day before yesterday okay and they talked about the drip garden okay guys so the drip garden if you don't know what that is you can actually stake pls uh, sorry the <laughs> the drip garden the pulse garden this is the pulse garden okay pulse drip pulse garden so you can stake your pulse chain in here compound you have to compound like three times uh, three times before you can make a claim uh what i will say is uh before we get onto the update right buying pulse chain right now so pulse chain it looks like it's at the bottom potentially or this is a double bottom at least right but the truth of the matter is you're not buying the highs, you're buying the lows in Pulse Chain right now, right? So if Pulse Chain decides to recover, this was the FUD dump SEC uh, coming after Richard Hart. Bang, we had a dump. Okay, guys, came back up, came back down. All right, so really this is just panic selling over here. There was no real reason to be kind of, I mean, there's, I mean, this, you know, anything that goes on with Richard Hart and the SEC, personally, I don't believe that affects Hex or Pulse Chain generally okay guys uh it's decentralized all right so it doesn't change the tokenomics it doesn't change the fundamentals of the project you're just basically looking at the fact that the sec who historically don't seem to be doing too well in their cases against crypto right obviously we just see uh, saw xrp beating the sec you know this was a fud dump all right guys but that fud dump is a gift to those that wanted cheaper prices on pole chain so right about now you could potentially buy the low okay or the, you know this is the lows you want to buy low sell high but if you're depositing that into the pulse garden obviously it just means you're going to roi faster if pulse chain pumps for example pulse chain could do like 3x in a week right in literally seven like less than seven days this is crypto right if it does that obviously your roi comes back much faster and ultimately you're stacking pulse chain okay guys by the time 2025 hits you've been compounding you've been claiming in the garden you got a lot more pls than what you put in obviously it pays only up to uh 300 i shouldn't say obviously but if you read the documents okay if you're doing your own research uh it pays up to a 3x on your deposit okay guys so basically you put in 100 pls you're going to end up with 300 pls 
on your final claim. Uh, if you well, you you get a lot more than that because obviously we're compounding and so on compound interest. But uh, ultimately, um, the post garden, there is an update for that. Okay, so many of you may have seen uh, a prize pump out of Dai. Okay, P Dai on post chain, which is a or should be a stable coin. Okay, the original P the original Dai or D A I from Ethereum on post chain is picked to a dollar. Okay, that's the original, uh, but then you get the P die, which was the copy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and do your research on Polshay. But this was the copied Polshay version of die, which was airdropped to a bunch of people. Okay, if you were holding it, right? It's been going absolutely crazy, and the only reason it's been doing this, right? First of all, people are talking about this being pegged to a dollar. Um, it may happen. This could potentially get to a dollar um but ultimately there's no uh th there is no um organization or no team which is going to keep this token at a dollar so for those of you that are talking about p die going to a dollar you know i don't see it being stabilized at a dollar if it goes to a dollar it can go higher you could come straight back down and nobody's gonna it's not gonna be all over the news if it depegs crypto news okay the original dai obviously that will cause some issues in the market if that decides to depeg or whatever but with this one okay this is basically a volatile i wouldn't even look at it as a stable coin i just look at it as a uh, you know it's a token it's, you could trade it it's gonna pump it's gonna dump all that sort of stuff okay so people are holding this thinking this might go to a dollar and i'm not saying that it won't it potentially could but ultimately what you're seeing is a volatility because people are buying into this narrative people are chasing that pump okay guys and the news from Pulse Chain could have been a catalyst. Sorry, Pulse Chain. Pulse Drip could have been a catalyst for this pump here. Okay, it started pumping again uh, when they talked about the whole, um, you know, uh, using it to go into the Pulse Garden. Okay, so Pulse Garden is obviously adding additional utility, which is bullish for the P, uh, the Pulse Drip token because uh, the every sorry the taxes or the profits made on this go towards buying back the p drip token okay and the tax vault right so uh p drip potential higher buybacks better buybacks bigger buybacks with uh the p die garden okay i get a bit confused with the p this and the p that okay guys but ultimately that is bullish for uh the pulse drip token okay if we go over to the telegram um interesting in learning more about p die there's there's videos that you can watch on it all right guys but basically in a nutshell that is what we're looking at is p die being added to the drip the pulse drip garden so there will be a p die garden and what we have to look forward to is more tokens being added to this ecosystem and uh, obviously that bringing more utility to the ecosystem more utility to post chain tokens and more uh, buybacks to the pdrip token so what does this mean this basically means that the pdrip token is bullish because the team are obviously going to be overseeing further buybacks um i believe they've automated the buybacks now from the drip garden the post drip gar the post garden okay so uh because it's not a post drip garden it is a post garden you put post chain pls into the garden okay guys and then with the p die one you would put p die in there which is good for the p drip token because you know it's basically uh, pls in pls out it will be p die in p die out people are not earning p drip uh by using this the only way you can earn p drip uh is through the faucet okay guys because if they were earning from the garden that will make it a little bit more bearish more sell pressure on the p drip token especially if people are not buying p drip to lock it up to earn p drip they're using pls and that basically there's no buy pressure coming in uh, there's no buy pressure coming into p drip in order to balance out the you know tokenomic side of that okay guys so that's really all i've got for you in this video a quick update on that again a very good time to be picking up this uh tokens not financial advice but P drip is a lot cheaper than what it was a couple of days ago, even a week ago. So ultimately, 
Um, it's easier to get a faucet, okay, guys. And once you got your faucet, because remember, there is only a limited amount of these faucets. Right about now, uh, the numbers going up. Six hundred and fifteen. Last time we checked, it was about five hundred something. So more than ten percent of the faucet count has been eaten, okay, guys. So um, once this heat uh, hits five thousand, you won't be able to grab a faucet, okay. And uh, just like drip, the original drip on drip network on by that smart chain it didn't take off straight away okay a catalyst may come along where all of a sudden people start going crazy for faucets so any other one pump okay some would say that that is a one wave of a five wave structure okay guys so potentially we could see the three wave coming next and even bigger giga pump on that particular token or we could just see it go down who knows but in the meantime we're getting passive income okay guys so while we wait for the market to decide the price of this token in the short mid long term we are earning a passive income okay guys so that being said it's the end of the video do me a favor and subscribe to the channel like and comment down below tick the little bell for notifications after you subscribed um and yeah i'll leave the link in the description join my team if you'd like to link is in the description uh that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the very next one